There is this very common trend in Nigeria. You can play today with your friend, have a nice time, go out partying, you know, have fun, or maybe in the church or mosque. And after one day or two days, you see their pictures on on, on the Instagram or on, or on Facebook wearing winter jackets. You know, they've departed the country. And you'll be wondering, why didn't you tell me? You know, because we had fun yesterday in the party, in, in, in the club, or in, in oh, I saw him in the marketplace. But today, he's, he's in the US, he's in Canada, he's posting pictures from Australia, from the UK. If you are contemplating maybe to travel or not, the naysayers will actually leave you behind and travel. I mean, the guys that, that are discouraging you, that you're listening to, right? That are telling you, let's make the country a better place. You are going to see their picture on online, on Instagram or Facebook after two days or three days. So you have to actually make up your mind don't listen to anybody it's a personal you have to take it personal it's a personal journey it's not your journey it's not it's not for the general public to know about so make sure if you have plan to travel do not hesitate do not procrastinate do not postpone it because it could be costly and i'll tell you the reasons why you shouldn't postpone your plans of traveling you shouldn't postpone your plans of traveling abroad or to study abroad or to work abroad Number one, immigration policies are forever changing. They are constantly changing. I remember when I departed Nigeria 10 years ago. I left Nigeria for Belarus to study medicine 10 years ago. And at that time, Belarus was visa free to Nigerians. No visa, you can literally just get a mission letter and travel. And that was what I did. You know, I just traveled to Belarus with just admission letter. Though, I had to pay my agent some ridiculous amount of money, which that's another story. But the immigration policy of Belarus at that time, in 2012, was so easy. There is no restriction. Just get your admission letter and travel. In the following year, they changed the policy. They brought the, they brought the Belarusian embassy to Nigeria around 2013-2014. So if you, if I had procrastinated at that time, you know, if I had waited till the next year, to the next academic section, I would have had to go to the embassy and probably risk being denied. So it's so dangerous to procrastinate. It gives you a false sense of security. So if you want to travel abroad, if you want to study abroad, make sure you start the process in no time, right now. You know, apart from Belarus, in other countries as well, other European countries in Eastern Europe, Ukraine, Belarus, Georgia, you know, Latvia, Lithuania, even Sweden, all these countries have changed over time. They've reviewed their immigration policy, they've tightened up their security. It's getting more and more difficult to, to get into these countries. So, you don't know what to change tomorrow, make sure you start today. Another reason why you should actually start ASAP as soon as possible is because of the currency exchange. For my viewers in Nigeria or in Ghana, I think you guys understand what I mean better. You know, things are getting more and more expensive. Flight, the ticket fee, by the time you convert it to the local currency, it's, it's insanely expensive. And you can bet that in the next three months, six months, one year, it's going to get worse. So why not start now? Why do you want to wait until it becomes more difficult for you? And I understand some students will say, oh, of course, I have the interest, but there is no money to apply to all these universities. There is no, I can't afford the tuition fee. I have no sponsor. Um, I have the intention, I'm intelligent, but I can't cope with the, the, the incredible amount of tuition fee. Of course, there is always a solution to every pro problem. You know, many universities, especially in the US, in the UK, in Canada, in Australia, they have numerous um, scholarship opportunities that they offer. And in some of my videos, you can go to the playlist. I made so many videos about, you know, how to apply to, how to get scholarship opportunities in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in Australia. I brought so many guests that have, you know, won so many scholarships 
and they've been through the whole process and they explain in details how to go about it, how to apply the requirements, everything. So go to my YouTube channel and go through my playlist and you, you are going to see so many videos uh, there that explain how to apply for scholarship in all these countries. So you have no excuse really. So make sure you don't postpone your intention to study abroad or your intention to work abroad. You have to start today. Do not listen to anyone. Don't listen to anybody. Because those guys that are discouraging you today, in the next two weeks, three weeks, you may probably be double tapping their pictures on Instagram or Facebook. So make sure you are not left behind and make sure you don't postpone your progress. So I just decided to encourage someone there today that um, you can do it and um, look at the possibilities, not, not the uh, uncertainties. So guys, thank you very much. If this is your first time, please, please do subscribe and also click the like button if you enjoyed this kind of video. And I'll see you guys again the next time.